Our enthusiasm is off the charts. We were ready to play from the moment the ball went up. We had a lot of respect for our opponent, and it was very exciting to, to just be out the sidelines and watch these guys perform. So very excited about all the guys. They played terrific. They didn't let up. You know, it's very not very often we even see a team in the second half win the second half with a big lead. So they were totally focused in on passing the ball. We had 23 assists on 34 uh, buckets, which is outstanding. Great passing tonight. Really excited for the guys. Talk about Wayne. You got he got 29 minutes and 23 points. Yep, and he was just about out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it's. Wayne was really a product of, you know, you play in 13, 14 minutes and you're in foul trouble. And you, what happens is you lose, now you play a few minutes, you lose your aggressiveness. You don't feel you can be aggressive, but he was very aggressive tonight at a lot of different things. So I was, I was proud of him and happy for him. You get a lot of minutes from guys that usually don't get to play too much. What are your takeaways from a gal, Gil? You know, Anton, and I've, I've said it many times, that Anton and, and um, McCoy are going to be very good basketball players. They're just behind at the defensive end, but offensively they can play. Uh, they're as good as any of our guys, but just defensively they're, they're behind. And they're going to be very good players in our program, so I was excited that they could get minutes like this. You don't need, I didn't expect this, so it was exciting to see. Rick, Rick 23 assists on 34 baskets. Uh, they pass any better than they passed tonight? I just think that, you know, this team, they went for a few ball fakes, and I think our guys thought pass before shot. And every time you pass the ball stepping into a three, good things happen. You notice we missed a lot off the dribble, dribbling into the three in the second half. So when you can step in off a pass, we work very hard in, in practice, especially individual instruction, on, on reversing the ball and stepping into the shots. Every shooting drill we do is off that. So the guys were brilliant at passing the basketball. Terry didn't shoot it well, but pretty much everything else you had to be happy with. He was very consistent. Terry's got to stop worrying about scoring. If the ball goes in, you know, our philosophy is shoot as many times as you want as long as it's a good shot. He's got to stop concerning himself with that. And he'll, 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 he'll mature in that area. Did you see some defensive improvement from Montrez or something that you wanted to see from him? We've been working very hard on stance, worked very hard on, on moving our feet. We did a lot of really good things. The only thing defensively tonight we weren't good at is transition defense. Um, and sometimes when you spot up in the corners, if, if you don't immediately react, you're going to get beat. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't react real well. We, we were 11 for 16, they were 11 for 17. Mango got the start. Are you happy with him and Steven Van Tree's play tonight? Did they rebound you know, a little I, better? I, I really can't find a fault, period. You know, uh, even Pistol was terrific. You know, he went by his man and he made a great move to the basket. He's a, a very emotional kid, you can see that. Clubs <laughs> is more emotional. Good. Talk about the short turnaround now, Coach. The short turnaround to Yeah, Saturday. But, but Connecticut's playing too. They're probably going to beat Memphis. And uh, we know it's going to be a great game. They got one of the premium backcourts. I wish Chris was playing. He, he's not going to play, but I wish he was. But I think I've got a lot of confidence in Connecticut soon. Anything else? Thank you.